In cryptography, a message authentication code is a short piece of information used to authenticate a message, in other words, to confirm that the message came from the stated sender and has not been changed in transit. A MAC algorithm, sometimes called a keyed hash function, accepts his input a secret key in an arbitrary length message to be authenticated, and outputs a MAC. The MAC value protects both a message's data integrity as well as its authenticity, by allowing verifiers to detect any changes to the message content. Definitions Informally, message authentication code consists of three algorithms. A key generation algorithm selects a key from the key space uniformly at random. A signing algorithm efficiently returns a tag given the key in the message. A verifying algorithm efficiently verifies the authenticity of the message given the key in the tag, that is, return accepted when the message and tag are not tampered with or forged, and otherwise return rejected. For a secure unforgeable message authentication code, it should be computationally infeasible to compute a valid tag of the given message without knowledge of the key, even if for the worst case. We assume the adversary can forge the tag of any message except the given one. Formally, a message authentication code is a triple of efficient algorithms satisfying G gives the key K on input 1N, where N is the security parameter. S outputs a tag T on the key K in the input string X. V outputs accepted or rejected on inputs. The key K, the string X and the tag T. S and V must satisfy, PR, KG, V, equals accepted, equals 1. A MAC is unforgeable if for every efficient adversary APR, KG, as, X query, 1 N, V equals accepted, less than N E G L, whereas denotes that A has access to the oracle S, and query, 1 N, denotes the set of the queries on S made by A, which knows N. Clearly we require any adversary cannot directly query the string X on S, since otherwise she can easily obtain a valid tag. Security While MAC functions are similar to cryptographic hash functions, they possess different security requirements. To be considered secure, a MAC function must resist existential forgery under chosen plain text attacks. This means that even if an attacker has access to an oracle which possesses the secret key and generates max for messages of the attacker's choosing, the attacker cannot guess the MAC for other messages without performing unfeasible amounts of computation. MACs differ from digital signatures as MAC values are both generated and verified using the same secret key. This implies that the sender and receiver of a message must agree on the same key before initiating communications, as is the case with symmetric encryption. For the same reason, MACs do not provide the property of non-repudiation offered by signatures specifically in the case of a network-wide shared secret key. Any user who can verify a MAC is also capable of generating MACs for other messages. In contrast, a digital signature is generated using the private key of a key pair, which is public key cryptography. Since this private key is only accessible to its holder, a digital signature proves that a document was signed by none other than that holder. Thus, digital signatures do offer non-repudiation. However, non-repudiation can be provided by systems that securely bind key usage information to the MAC key. The same key is in possession of two people, but one has a copy of the key that can be used for MAC generation while the other has a copy of the key in a hardware security module that only permits MAC verification. This is commonly done in the finance industry. Message Integrity Codes the term message integrity code is frequently substituted for the term MAC, especially in communications, where the acronym MAC traditionally stands for Media Access Control Address. However, some authors use MIC to refer to a message digest, which is different from a MAC. A message digest does not use secret keys. This lack of security means that any message digest intended for use gauging message integrity should be encrypted or otherwise be protected against. 
Tampering. Message digest algorithms are created such that a given message will always produce the same message digest assuming the same algorithm is used to generate both. Conversely, MAC algorithms are designed to produce matching MACs only if the same message, secret key and initialization vector are input to the same algorithm. Message digests do not use secret keys in, when taken on their own, and therefore a much less reliable gauge of message integrity than MACs. Because MACs use secret keys, they do not necessarily need to be encrypted to provide the same level of assurance. RFC 4949 recommends avoiding the term message integrity code and instead using checksum error detection code hash keyed hash message authentication code or protected checksum implementation. MAC algorithms can be constructed from other cryptographic primitives, such as cryptographic hash functions or from block cipher algorithms. However, many of the fastest MAC algorithms such as UMAC and VMAC are constructed based on universal hashing. Additionally, the MAC algorithm can deliberately combine two or more cryptographic primitives, so as to maintain protection even if one of them is later found to be vulnerable. For instance, in transport layer security, the input data is split in halves that are each processed with a different hashing primitive then exit together to output the MAC. Standards Various standards exist that define MAC algorithms. These include FIPS Pub 113 Computer Data Authentication, withdrawn in 2002, defines an algorithm based on DES. FIPS Pub 198 to 1 The Keyed Hash Message Authentication Code ISO, IEC 9797-1 Mechanisms Using a Block Cipher ISO, IEC 9797-2 Mechanisms Using a Dedicated Hash Function ISO, IEC 9797-1 and minus 2 Define generic models and algorithms that can be used with any block cipher or hash function and a variety of different parameters. These models and parameters allow more specific algorithms to be defined by nominating the parameters. For example, the FIPS Pub 113 algorithm is functionally equivalent to ISO, IEC 9797-1, MAC algorithm 1 with padding method 1 and a block cipher algorithm of DES. An example of message authentication code algorithm. In this example, the sender of a message runs it through a MAC algorithm to produce a MAC data tag. The message and the MAC tag are then sent to the receiver. The receiver then compares the first MAC tag received in the transmission to the second generated MAC tag. If they are identical, the receiver can safely assume that the integrity of the message was not compromised and the message was not altered or tampered with during transmission. However, to allow the receiver to be able to detect replay attacks, the message itself must contain data that assures that this same message can only be sent once. Otherwise an attacker could, without even understanding its content, record this message and play it back at a later time, producing the same result as the original sender. One-time MAC universal hashing and in particular pairwise independent hash functions provide a message authentication code as long as the key is used, at most once, or less than times for wise independent hash functions. This can be seen as of the one-time pad for authentication. The simplest such pairwise independent hash function is defined by the random key and the MAC tag for a message is computed as, where is a prime.